Alright, welcome back guys. In this video I just want to finish off this hand I've been uh, messing around with really so I'm just going to show you what I've been working on. So we've got a gun and we've got an arm for our first person uh, shooter. I've got a glove on this hand and I've got the arm we made in the previous video but in this video I want to finish off this hand which I'll be putting on the Unity chat website um, unitychatchannel.com so the first thing to do is move this pivot point and snap it to the top in the center a bit I think so D V and uh, snap it to the polygon and then we can hold D and drag it in again so I just want to tidy out some of these polygons because they're a bit um, messy so this is kind of halfway through the process of modeling guys so the next thing to do is tidy up the edges so firstly we can just use the slide edge tool um, we can get rid of the texture for now um, so with a slide edge tool just move the uh, loops up a little bit spread the space them out a bit more um, this loop around the thumb needs to be a bit better so just needs to be more defined basically so um, we can make these pivot points smaller uh, just press the minus uh, symbol on your keyboard hold C to curve snap uh, curve snap it to the edge so I just want to do this space it out a bit more when it comes to animating it will look a bit nicer so do it this way and this involves a lot of tweaking guys so I didn't want to do it all in the <laughs> in this video so just thought I'd model out, model out the thumb and then tweak it in the video so move these over a bit um, press the plus arrow to make these bigger so Okay, just curve it upwards now. So just curve it upwards like that. Okay, frame up. And that looks a bit better actually, a bit thicker area. And, um, so yeah, the thumb is a job. You've got to tweak out the whole hand, guys. Um, so. Oh yeah, that looks a bit better. So just tweaking out the area. So there's a nice curve there and there's a nice curve going around the thumb as well. So I'll, I think I'll put another edge loop in there actually. So to start with let's just make some space okay I don't want to mess about that too much Let's make some space here so what we can do is we can grab these edges so the pivot points don't get in the way and uh, slide edge down a bit make some more space uh, go to a vertex. Yeah, it's just snap these a bit. And, uh, okay, so I think there's enough space now almost for our other loop. So there's a triangle there, that's alright, I'm just going to loop it around, so get your split edge, to split uh, polygon tool, and just make a loop around. Okay, that can go, go straight onto there, so now I've got another loop to play with, so now the, the thumb will deform nicer. Okay, so when it comes to putting our bones in, the thumb will deform a lot nicer, so... How's it looking now? Let's have a look in object mode. Yeah, it's looking all right. It's looking good. So what we can do is just tidy this up. Let's try and get a curve going here. Oh, 
Alright, that is cool. So let's just get this edge. It's going right around there. Um, on second thoughts, let's just get these edges here. Going around here. Who, which are creating some triangles actually so we can go to uh, our polygon tool set and uh, edit mesh delete edge vertex so now they've removed the edges and the vertex is involved with that as well so all right so looking a bit better now guys um, this is a triangle but we need it to deform the thumb these triangles so we need some loops and slide these up a little bit more Okay, that's looking a bit nicer. So, is there a way we can get rid of these triangles? I suppose we could split it here and uh, delete out this edge. That's a five sided. Uh, I'm just going to join these up together, guys, so it doesn't look dodgy. And, uh, alright, I think that I do for this area. Just move these down a bit. Okay, to eliminate this triangle, we can delete this edge. And then we can make another loop around the hand. And so just go around the whole hand again. connect it here so then we can get this edge okay this could go on a while but <laughs> okay let's just tidy this up a bit and so just adding detail really guys making the shape nicer making the topology nicer as well that's a four sided shape okay Move these up a bit. Move these up. To speed things up, we can just double click the edges a bit and move these up. And then it kind of goes back down into the thumb. So. Alright, so what's happening here? So um, there's a triangle here. I think we can maybe get rid of that somehow. Um, let's make things consistent here. So, okay. Do we really need this bit? Well, let's just delete it out. and let's split these and that's a lot nicer now there's no triangles in this area where the thumbs going to deform let's just move it out a bit more all right let's try and make a nice loop here Okay, that looks a lot nicer actually. So um, there's a triangle there. Let's get rid of that. Edit mesh, delete edge vertex. Now there's a four sided polygon here. And, uh, okay, that looks good. Alright guys, so it just ties it up. This this area here is not going to animate, so when it comes to bending the hand, um, this area of the hand never bends, so it's okay to have triangles um, because this bit's not going to animate. Alright, so let's just grab these edges here. So 
tidy this area up a bit, just bring it to the center a bit more. Bring these out a bit more. And this area is pretty nice already, so let's just grab these three, bring them up a bit, and there, yeah, looks a bit better. So let's get this whole edge and just bring it down a tad. Let's do the same here, bring it down a tad. Alright, that's looking good. So, okay, let's do this bit. Let's go into an object mode. Let's see what it looks like. And yeah, that looks alright. It's not a lot smoother. Um, let's just soften out the edges for a sec and go back. Alright, that looks a lot better actually. So, what I've done is, guys, I've I've made sure there's there are no triangles around this bit. Well, there's one there, but. Um, to to uh, fix this, we could just join it up here, just so it's away from the thumb area, because that's the that's the side that's going to animate. So let's delete this out. Okay, so the thumb's going to. Let's have a look. What can we do? I think it was better before, guys, because that loop's going to animate a little bit. So. Okay, well that'll be all right. Um, not too much of a problem. So yeah, this loop here is gonna we can make this loop more defined. So we can oop, curve snap it into place. So I just want to make this loop a bit more defined so it's easy to animate. Alright, okay. Okay, so that's with the that's all we need to do with the hand. Uh, the fingers are quite straightforward. We can just tidy up some of these loops, space them out a little bit more. So just do that one. Let's bring it down a bit. Let's do this one a tad. And at the end of the fingers, as you can see, guys, I've just closed in the uh, polygon and poked the face. So what we could do is we can get a vertex and bit like that and just bring it up a tiny bit so they're not as flat. So that's one way to close off the end of the fingers. Okay, that do. So not as flat now, as you can see. Uh, this thumb is kind of the same thing bit of a weird shape we could always uh, just bring the bring the uh, vertex vertices in a bit um, okay so no, let's get rid of that that, that that didn't turn out very good so if we look at our thumbs they kind of close off at the end kind of come in a little bit so yeah, that would do, I think. Okay. Don't want to mess about the thumb too much. Okay, so that would do for our hand, guys. I'm probably going to put this on um, Unity Chat in a minute. So I think this bit's a bit closing in a bit too much. Bring this loop, bring it down. Okay, just straightening it out a bit. These vertices are a bit wonky. Alright, let's just get these edges here. Oop, frame up. bit nicer so bring this one down 
once you download this guys you can do whatever the hell you want with it so you can import it into Maya again and fiddle about these vertices and do what you think's best okay so firstly let's bring it up <laughs> so it's on the grid alright that looks alright not bad for a 10 minute job so um, yeah I've got a little texture of it but feel free to replace that texture guys so if I jump back into the objects I've already created ah, I was on top of the grid so move it back up again so let's have a look at the other hand so it's basically the same I've tidied it up a bit more I've added fingernails onto it so just a just a little bit extrude um, the glove is pretty simple to do guys instead of extruding out the glove just extruding the fingers and extruding uh, this area here I've closed off the polys here so there might be some triangles here always create triangles where you're not going to animate because they're not going to move and you won't get any dodgy <laughs> deforming so yeah this is quite well the, to the topology makes sense on this it's nice and even and stuff so alright guys so um, yeah I'll put this hand on unity chat you can download it and do whatever you want with it so I'll do that now I'll, I'll release a video when I've updated the website so thanks for watching guys just a little video on making this hand a little bit better so it's a bit better now uh, as a last thing to do I think these fingers are a bit skinny all we need to do is bring them out a bit okay maybe a bit too much so you make it as best you can try and keep things in proportion and okay I think that do that do for this video I think so alright that's our hand guys it looks alright so uh, like I say download it do what you want with it and it's for free so it can't be bad can it if it's for free so uh, thanks for watching the video guys I just want to get this out of the way so we can go back into unity and continue with our first person game so thanks for watching the video